look at saving data plots from ggplot2 into various different types of files. Um, now, of course, it's great to be able to take data in R and analyze it and make pretty plots and everything, um, but ultimately, you're going to want to export this data somehow, right? Because um, as much as everyone loves running R scripts, um, you're going to eventually want to put these into some sort of presentation or document of some sort, right? Um, so today I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, of course, all of us love ggplot2. Uh, makes things really easy. Uh, and so I'm going to create a new R script, right, thankfully, because this is, you know, a library. We can just load it in. Of course, if that package isn't installed, you can go ahead and do install, you know, install.packages, uh, ggplot2. It, it is for me, so I'm not going to run this, but just in case you're getting uh, that error where it's like can't find this uh, library, that's what you got to do. Um, Anyway, so I'm just going to create a quick plot based on some of the built-in data that comes with R, right? Because then we don't have to worry about snagging our own data. So let's go ahead and say that we're going to pull it from the MT cars data set, which is one of the ones that comes with R's with R. So we're going to go ahead and make this a you know, plot these lovely points. Um, I already looked this up, so I know what these things are, but uh, basically this has several values about cars. So um, CYL is the number of cylinders, and MPG is, of course, the miles per gallon. Um, so we're going to go with this, and I'm going to run this. And you'll see here you get this lovely... Uh, plot. Um, this would probably show up better in some other form, but for our purposes, let's just use this. So you can see that four cylinders typically get more uh, miles per gallon than six cylinders, which then typically get more uh, than eight cylinders. Um, I guess there's no data on five cylinder cars, and uh, I don't even know if they make seven cylinder cars, right? Have you heard of that? I haven't heard of that, but I don't know anything about cars, so there you go. Um, anyway, within ggplot2, uh, the library, you get this awesome, uh, you get this awesome function called ggsave. And, uh, so the first argument here, you can see, uh, right there in that little popover, you can see, you know, you've got the file name and the plot, um, you know, which you're, you know, pretty much gonna need right <laughs> for any of these. And then you've got all of these other things. So you can do, uh, you can set a custom path outside of the file name. Of course, you can always just put the path in the file name, which I tend to do. Uh, the device is the thing that's another important aspect. Um, things like scale, width, height, those are all optional. Like scale is by default one, but you can change that, of course, width and height. Um, are automatically calculated, but if you want to override that for some reason, uh, go nuts, right? Uh, DPI as well. It's nice that they default to 300 here, which um, means that you can print it out rather than just showing it on the web, right? Um, all of these things. It goes on and on. But really, there are, there are three things that you really do need. You need the file name, Right, so I have an output directory, um, which if you're taking this course, um, you'll know we've created this output directory. You don't have to have an output directory. You can just put it wherever. I guess I'll call this uh, SIL MPG. Uh, and we're gonna let's let's start with a PNG because that's a pretty widely acceptable graphics format these days. So plot equals now. Um, of course, I didn't <laughs> put this into any an object, right? So we're just going to call this uh, empty cars plot, I guess. Okay, so there we go. I, sh I should have done that beforehand, but I, I didn't think about that. So we're going to say the plot is empty cars plot, and then you don't want to forget the device. Um, where this is where you specify what data type it is. Of course, you do need the uh, three-letter extension, 
or um or more you know jpeg sometimes you see jpeg or jpg whatever um anyway you need this device here to tell it what it's going to output um so we're going to run that and you'll see down here it says saving 9.99 by 6.01 blah, blah an image so i'm going to go ahead and command tab over to my output folder and you'll notice that there's this lovely save um, opening in preview of uh, the the plot this dot plot we have that we saw in R similarly we can go ahead and change these um, you know so say you want it in JPEG form for some reason um, you know we've just created this lovely JPEG uh, <laughs> you know, and it'll also, it'll do other formats. You can look up the full, f uh, list of formats, but here are three of the most common, right? You can do it as a PDF, and here we are, um, this is a PDF, right? Um, so yeah, that's, this is just kind of a quick summary of the GG save function and what you could potentially use it for. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something fun. And I'll see you next week.